freedom of speech versus defamation and fake news. Hello, I'm a writer. We are in an information crisis and we need to fix it before more people are harmed. The real world consequences cannot be ignored. A good place to start is by educating people about free speech and the courts. There is free speech and there is defamation. Free speech is protected speech. Defamation is not protected speech. Essentially, defamation is a false statement of fact that injures a third party's reputation. In written or spoken form. False statements of fact, defamation, can wreak havoc and cause serious damage to people's lives. Did you know that the Supreme Court has held that defamatory statements are not protected by the First Amendment? Did you know that the Supreme Court reasoned that statements that resort to epithets or personal abuse is not in any proper sense communication of information or opinion safeguarded by the Constitution, and its punishment as a criminal act would raise no question under that instrument? Source, Thor Navy, Illinois, quoting Cantwell v. Connecticut. Did you know there is no constitutional value in false statements of fact? Did you know that false statements of fact are not protected because neither the intentional line or the careless error materially advances society's interest in an inhibited, robust, and wide open debate on public issues? Source, New York Times Company v. Sullivan Did you know that falsehoods belong to the category of utterances and are not an essential part of any exposition of ideas? Did you know that falsehoods are of such slight social value as a step to truth that any benefit that may be derived from them is clearly outweighed by the social interest in order and morality? Source, Chaplinsky v. New Hampshire Did you know that false statements of fact are particularly valueless? Did you know that false statements of facts interfere with the truth-seeking function of the marketplace of ideas? Did you know that false statements of facts cause damage to an individual's reputation that cannot easily be repaired by counter speech, however persuasive or effective? Source, Hustler Magazine v. Falwell. Now you know. Words matter, and you are responsible for your speech. Words can lift up. Words can educate. Words can expose injustices. Words can expose corruption. Words can restore stolen justice. Words can harm. And words can heal. How will you use words? Please click on the articles linked in the description box below to learn more about free speech, and to see the court cases and citations referred to in this episode. Subscribe, like, share and comment so more people can become informed about free speech. Thanks for watching.